Hello friends, welcome. Uh, in this video I'm going to validate the table and the quest number. Okay, so let's go to the reservation controller and first when we get all the tables I want to get tables where where the status is going to be available because we have uh, so let's go here go to the tables and we have available also we have pending uh, and unavailable so i want to display here only the table who is available and also i'm going to display the number of uh, requests this table has this table get okay so come here and say where status and i'm going to say table status and this is available okay and say get very good save this now open the create blade inside the reservation and when we display the table so where is the table yeah here we have the table we display the table name and i'm going to display also the dollar sign table and quest number let's save this come here and refresh and yeah we have the quest number here four and this i'm going to leave it as it is or let's say if you want you can say also for quests And yeah, for quest. Okay. Good. Now, if uh, I change the table to be not available, so let's say the table one to be unavailable or pending. If I come here and say new reservation, now we have only table two and table three. Okay. Let's change this back again to be available and now let's validate the quest so if we add here six quests and change and select the table one which has only four quests i'm going to return back and say with a message here to say choose the quest based on the table okay go to the reservation when we store before that let's say dollar sign table to be table and find or fail dollar sign request table id okay because we have here the table id so we have the table id now i'm going to say if the request quest number is greater than the table quest number i'm going to return back return back with message with uh, and this is going to be warning 
and say here please choose the guests or the table based on guests so the table based on guests okay let's save this okay so let's test now let's say test two and just paste something here we need to choose the right date okay uh, six yeah six pm is okay and let's say six uh, guest number but the table has four mm -hmm. and if i say store yeah we are direct back with please choose the table based on guests okay now what if the so if i select this okay choose this table and uh, let's say four and click store okay we have this okay so now i want the uh, so the table one is reserved for this date and cannot make again the reservation for that date with this table okay so this table is going to be unavailable for this date so for 25 is going to be unavailable the uh, table one and uh, this is a good idea to make the table status and the other date there so for example the, to make the table unavailable only for one day but uh, because this is the demo project i'm going to do is in the reservation controller here i'm going to create a, a date from the request reservation dates so what we have here uh, date date rest date yeah so let's say dollar sign request date and it's going to be uh, carbon okay parse parse and add the request rest date And now I'm going to say make the for each for each dollar sign table table reservations as as the reservation as a reservation as less. And here I'm going to say not what I did for each. We are not in the blade, so just that. Now, if the reservation, so here I make, I get the reservations for this table. And if this reservation uh, RS date. And I'm going to format this. So format and I'm going to format for year, month and day. And if this is equal to the request not request, request date request date and also format this one so the same thing year month and day and if this is true i want to return back with warning and i'm going to say uh, this table is reserved for the for this date 
reserved for this date let's save it and refresh now in the front end i'm going to make the multi-step form but here we are in the back end so let's test now and in the reservations we have a table one for this date 25 okay so let's make the same thing here just add some dimmit data and 25 okay let's add 4 because 4 quest has the table 1 and if I click store okay I make a typo here not from format but format okay let's save and redirect and yeah this table is reserved for this date so let's try again because we get an error okay and choose this date choose four and say store here and yeah this table is reserved for this date let's choose another date for this table and to see if it's going to work And we have the table two, which has six quests. That are six. Okay, here, click store. And yeah, we make the reservation. Okay, friends. So that's it for the admin area. In the next video, we are going to start with the front end. Hope you enjoy, friends, and see you in the next video.